Well, welcome back to the MG project. Today, in part two of the series, we're going to be draining the oil out of the engine and gearbox, as well as checking the carburetors to make sure they're all right before we start the engine. Other than that, since the last episode, we've put the car up on stands, freed off the back brakes, as well as cleaning off the wheels and making them look nice. So let's get going with today's project. So we're going to start by looking underneath the car, which is easy, now it's up on axle stands. And we are at first greeted by the coil spring suspension and rack and pinion steering, which was brought in on the TDs. And hopefully if we come around here, we'll be able to see underneath the engine. Yes, so this will be the drain plug. We'll use that in a minute to get the oil out because the oil will be upwards of 15 years old. That should be the drain plug also for the gearbox. Underneath, it's very solid, as you'd expect for an Australian car. And most of them were exported anyway to dry countries, so rust wasn't too much of a problem. At the back, we've got standard leaf springs and the exhaust. So we're going to start by getting this drain plug off and draining the oil out. Here we are, I've found the correct spanner. It's a 15 16 of an inch spanner, and I've got my tub to drain the oil into. So hopefully, if I'm able to get this off, I should just be able to collect it all in here. I've got the copper hammer out now, so I'll try and give it a whack to dislodge the plug. Oh, that wasn't very hard. Yeah, and I can turn it by hand now. That's better. That oil looks very black. I'd say it's a jolly good job we didn't start the engine with that in it. So while the oil is draining into the pan underneath, I'm just going to lift up the bonnet on this side and try my best to take off the oil filter, which is down here. There it is. And it has one bolt here, which I'm going to use the ratchet to remove. Here's the oil filter, and hopefully I'll be able to get in with the ratchet. Maybe it would be easier from underneath. Should be able to remove this now. All right, there we are. That's that off. So this is the oil pump here, and it's got one of these little filters in here. So we should be able to take that one out and get a new one for when we put the clean oil in. So that there is the filter cartridge and housing removed from the engine and draining nicely into my pan. This oil looks filthy, so I'm very glad we removed it now rather than later. And if we look at the hole from whence the oil has come, you can see it's gradually slowing down and pretty soon I'll be able to remove the can and decant it into a bottle. Then we'll get on with doing the gearbox. And I'll put the little 
plug back in to stop the new oil coming out when we put it in. Here is the funnel and here is the oil. So now all of this is out of the engine, I will move on to draining the oil out of the gearbox. There is the gearbox drain plug. It's the same size, 15 sixteenths, as the sump drain plug, and I assume I'll need the hammer again to get it off. So although that oil was a fair bit cleaner than the stuff that came out the engine, there wasn't that much in there, which is slightly worrying, but we'll fill it up to the correct level when we put some new oil in. Well, while the oil is draining out of the gearbox, I'm going to try and fit a new oil filter into the filter cartridge. So I've got a classic gold authentic reproduction of the original, and if I compare the old and the new ones, it also came with some new O-rings, you can see they are virtually identical. So that should go in nicely. Well, I eventually managed to get the new O-ring, of which the kit came with many, into the filter housing in there. So I can now put the new filter inside the cartridge and the bolt on the back, like that, and it should be able to slot in perfectly. Oh, but I'd better put a smear of new oil around the edge of the filter first. Now the filter is installed, I'm just going to take the cap off the engine and put some new oil in. There's the lid, here's the funnel, and we're using some mineral 15W40. Checking the dipstick, it's showing just the tip so far, so I'll put more in. So it's now showing full, and I've put in just over four litres with a little bit to drain into the oil filter when we get it running. So I'm now over on this side of the engine to do the final thing for today's programme. I'm going to take off the air filter, the various hoses for the petrol, and then finally remove the carburettors and just check that they're all right, because we don't want to start the engine up if they're full of dead moths or dirt or anything else that may be lurking within them. So I will remove those and you'll join me when we're having a look inside them. I've now removed all of the bolts from the carburettors and disconnected the linkages to the throttle and the choke. 
So it just lifts out and you can see the twin SUs. I think they're inch and a quarters, but I will check. Pop that in there, and that in there, and put all of the bolts back from where they came. Yes, I've just measured the carburettors and they are definitely one and a quarter inches. They look in reasonably good condition. The throttle butterflies look clean, uh, but they would probably benefit from a rebuild. We'll get the car running first and then see how they perform. But for the moment, what's next for these is a good polish up. And I think they will come up very nicely, especially the little dash tops, which if we look inside them, they do have oil so it hasn't been neglected in there, hopefully, but that'll probably be something you see in the next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. We've made quite a bit of progress on the old MG, and it's definitely looking more roadworthy already. We've drained the oil out of the sump and the gearbox, and we've replaced it in the engine, as well as changing the filter, and we're going to work on the SU carburettors and get them ready for next episode. So, all that remains is for me to say thank you very much for watching and ta-ta for now.